Hi, and uh, today we are going to discuss something really important regarding the final value theorem. It is important to note that the final value theorem is not applicable to any general transfer function. So we need some catch in order to use the final value theorem. So here we have a final value theorem. And basically we are going to di discuss that when and when not to use the final value theorem. And now in, in order to get the deep understanding regarding the final value theorem, I am going to consider the four transfer function. So consider our first transfer function fs is equal to 1 over s minus 2. And the second transfer function fs is equal to 1 over s plus 2. The third transfer function is fs is equal to 1 over s square plus 4. And the fourth transfer function is equal to 1 over s. And now we know that we know the graph. And if we divide this graph into four parts, let's call this our first part. That is the right half plane. And the second part is the left half plane. The third part is the imaginary axis excluding the origin and the fourth path is the origin itself so we know that this is our real axis this is our imaginary axis our first part is the right half plane our second part is the left half plane and the third part is imaginary axis excluding the origin means this is the imaginary axis excluding the origin and the fourth part is the origin itself and now let's take our first transfer function and then apply the final value theorem so if we know the final value theorem so in the case of final value theorem we know that limit of t tends towards infinity is equal to limit s tends towards 0 s times fs so this will be equal to limit s tends towards 0 s times 1 over s minus 2 and the final value by making the use of the final value theorem is equal to 0 but if we directly take the inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function so we get f of t is equal to e to the power positive 2t and in, in order to find the final value we are going to put infinity in the place of t so if infinity will be equal to e to the power 2 times infinity this will be equal to e to the power infinity and e to the power infinity is equal to infinity so in this case our final value theorem fails because the final value is the infinity and by making the use of the final value theorem we got our final value as 0 and this is because if we closely look at this transfer function we know that in this case our fs is equal to 1 over s minus 2 and in this case our pole is positive 2 the pole is the numerical value which will make this term infinity so if we put plus 2 instead of this s this whole term will get tends towards infinity so here in this case our pole is positive 2 which lies in the right half plane and we know that when the pole lies in the right half plane our system is unstable so in this case our final value theorem fails and if you take our second transfer function mm -hmm. limit of t tends towards infinity will be equal to limit s tends towards 0 s times fs and this will be limit s tends towards 0 s times 1 upon s plus 2 and the final value by making the use of final value theorem is equal to 0 and now if we make the use of if we directly take the inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function so this will be f of t will be equal to e to the power negative 2t and now in order to find the final value we are going to put infinity instead of this t so 
for f infinity is equal to e to the power negative 2 infinity which will be e to the power negative infinity and we know that e to the power negative infinity is 0. So by making the use of the final value theorem in this case the final value theorem works and this is because if you closely look at this transfer function so fs is equal to 1 upon s plus 2 so here our pole is negative 2 which lies in the left half plane of this graph so and we know that when the pole lies in the left half plane our system is stable so in this case our final value theorem really works and if you take a third transfer function fs is equal to 1 over s square plus 4 and apply the final value theorem to this transfer function so limit of t tends towards infinity is equal to limit s tends towards 0 s times 1 over s square plus 4 and this will be equal to 0 but if we take the inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function so we get ft is equal to 1 over 2 times sine 2t and now in order to find the final value we are gonna put infinity instead of t so f infinity will be equal to undefined because this is a sinusoidal function and if you see the graphical representation of the sinusoidal function this will be something like this so in this case our final value is not defined but by making the use of the final value theorem we got the final value as zero and this is because if we closely look at this transfer function so we know that fs is equal to 1 upon s square plus 4 and now to find the pole what we are going to do is we are going to put s square plus 4 is equal to 0 so s square is equal to negative 4 and s is equal to plus or minus 2 times i and this indicates that our pole lies on the imaginary axis and the system is the response of the system is continuous oscillating mm -hmm. and the system is unstable of course so in this case our final value theorem fails and if you see the third the fourth transfer function and apply the final value theorem so limit s tends towards 0 1 by s times s so our final value will be equal to 1 and if we take the inverse Laplace transform of this transfer function so this will be f of t is equal to 1 and if we put and if you find the final value so f of infinity will be also equal to 1 so in this case the final value theorem works because if you closely look at this transfer function so here we have fs is equal to 1 by s and our pole in this case is equal to 0 which lies on the origin itself so in this case our final value theorem works and now we conclude that the final value the final value theorem only works when the pole lies on the left half plane or on the origin now let us take an example in order to get the deep understanding regarding this final value theorem and so If you take the transfer function fs is equal to 1 upon s square plus s so can we say that the final value theorem is applicable to this transfer function or not so in this case we can write this as fs is equal to 1 upon s inside the bracket s plus 1 just I have rearranged this transfer function so in this case if we see that our pole is 1 is 0 and another one is negative 1 so in this case if we apply the final value theorem because the pole lies on the origin 
and here the pole lies in the left half plane so here we can easily apply the final value theorem because we have seen that the final value theorem is only applicable when the pole lies in the left half plane or when the pole lies on the origin so in this case if we apply the final value theorem so limit of t tends towards infinity is equal to limit s tends towards 0 s times 1 upon s s plus 1 so this s will get cancelled and our final value will be equal to 1 so this was all the information regarding a catch that when to use the final value theorem and when not to, to use the final value theorem it is important to note that the final value theorem is only only applicable when the pole lies in the left half plane or when the pole lies on the origin itself thank you for watching this video